Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Well, today we're doing an ebook review on how to use natural light in your photography. It's published by the Digital Photography School and Darren Rouse, and authored by Mitchell Keneskavich. So let's take a look. Well, it has a very attractive cover with the natural light coming through into the dust and the, these people running through this dusty field. Really a nice photograph. The first chapter is simply stated, getting started. Right away, Mitchell gets into uh, the differences of the same scene as you see in these two photographs, but dramatically different lighting due to the time of day or what was going on in the sky. Uh, a great illustration of how a scene can change and a mood can change just by the light. And here's an example of putting the light, the sun that is, directly behind the object and creating a very dramatic shot. Had this been shot from a different angle, it probably would not have the same impact. And here he gets into the technicalities, that is the metering, uh, reading the light, uh, and exposure, something that's very important uh, to your creative process. Here he actually shows the meter in your camera and explains how it works. And he goes over the histogram and uh, tells you how to read a histogram and how it affects the image. And in chapter three, he talks about the changing characteristics of light. As you can see from this photograph, in the same position as the sun changed, the scene completely changes. And here he gives you examples of different qualities of light, meaning there's a uh, hot sunshine to shoot in, there's a uh, light uh, when it's hazy and cloudy out, it's a more even light, and there's a later daylight, all different types of quality of light. He's got a great chapter in here on post-processing. He explains about post-processing, why to do it and when to do it, and how to use HDR, which is what we're looking at here. Chapter 5 is Mitchell's Quick Guide to Natural Light. He covers the golden hour light, which is end of the day or beginning of the day, how light reacts in fog and creates its own special mood, and he even shows you how to shoot in a harsh daylight, which often people think is the worst light you can possibly photograph in. But it's not necessarily true. It depends on your subject and the angle of the light. Here he speaks about controlling the light, and by that he means look at the light, understand where it's coming from, look at your subject, and take those two things and take the best angle you possibly can. Sometimes you may have to take a person out of the harsh sunlight and ask them to step into the shade. In the last chapter, chapter 7, is case studies. This is where he actually will show you a photograph and then he makes a drawing to actually uh, illustrate where the light was coming from in each image. So here's one of Mitchell's case study photographs. Um, it's just a wonderful image with all the motion and the lighting, it's fabulous. And what he does then is on the next page is he illustrates where the light was coming from and his camera settings and how he actually got the shot. Well, I think Mitchell does a great job here with explaining how to use natural light and how to get the best from natural light. Some of the things may be a little advanced for uh, newer DSLR users, but all the information is very good. Um, it really will teach you how to pre-visualize and uh, make the best use of your, of your tools. Well, I've covered just highlights in this book. There's a lot, lot more. Uh, it's very good and we recommend it highly. Well, I hope you enjoyed our review on this ebook and found it valuable. Now get out there and take some pictures and really take a look at that lighting uh, before you snap that shutter and experiment and learn and post your pictures here on the website and look for us again at learnmyshot.com